Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Bauer 20 volt, three and a half gallon wet dry vacuum, or also commonly known as a shop vac. It's a cordless shop vac, of course, it uses the Bauer 20 volt Hypermax lithium ion batteries. We're using a five amp hour battery here to give it the best shot that we can. I've had this vacuum for about three months now. I built up some opinions on it. It's actually one of the probably the most used tools in my shop, uh, at least of recent times. Definitely doesn't have the most uh, hours running time on it of cordless Bauer tools, but recently I've been using it this thing a ton. It's been my dustpan for the last couple of months because I haven't had one here in the shop and I constantly am using it to uh, vacuum things up. So let's go ahead and check out the accessories that it comes with. So this vacuum does come sold as tool only. That means you do not get the battery and the charger with it. Uh, so everything that it does come with though is this six foot vacuum hose. And I have to say, I think they put a decent quality one on here. I'm not, you know, some kind of expert on vacuum hoses, but it definitely seems like this is an area they could have cheaped out. This thing expands to six feet. It probably is about, I guess, two feet as it sits. Feels like I said, a pretty good durable quality vacuum hose. At the end of the hose here where it connects to the vacuum, this this vacuum does have a nice little clip that you just push down and pull out and it keeps the uh, hose and locked in and secure to the vacuum. Then you have your uh, little straight narrow attachment for the end of the hose here. Fits in nicely there out of the way. Great spot for it. Then on the side here you have your little wide attachment for vacuuming what I would use in the car quite often upholstery. I'm not exactly sure if these things have a name. I've never known them if they do, but nice little attachment, little accessory that clips in out of the way. And it does stay in locked pretty secure. You can shake this thing around and it doesn't fall off. And last, it comes with an air filter. So let's just go over some of the specs real quick. According to Harbor Freight's website, this has a flow rate of 45 CFM. It is a three and a half gallon as the name would indicate. And it weighs 7.6 pounds. To me, those are probably the most relevant specifications that they list out for this vacuum. So the on and off switch is right up here on the top underneath the handle. <laughs> It does have this nice uh, protective plastic over the switch because it could potentially be in wet uh, environments. So they're looking out for you there. Nice little rubberized handle grip here at the top. You have the intake side up here. So this is what you're using when you're vacuuming. Then you have the blower side over here, which clips in all the same. The battery locks in here on the back side. Just slides in nice and easy. I will say that heavy battery does make the vacuum a little bit off balance if you can't tell. When I hold it here in the middle, it definitely tips to that side. And to get inside the uh, little container here where all the trash that you suck up with the vacuum goes, you just remove these clips and it lifts right off. On the inside here, you do have a rubber gasket that uh, makes sure that the uh, vacuum seals up against the container side here and I think that it seals up pretty well. I think this vacuum is pretty well put together and uh, looks real nice. Definitely a good looking tool. I think I have some pretty poorly filmed phone videos that I took of me using this thing just because it was nice and handy and I thought might as well take some videos of this thing going to work. And then I do want to also throw a few screws out, kind of show you sucking up some screws. And then also I'll do a, a wet test and suck up some water with this thing. Then after that, I'll bring you back here to the table and I'll pretty much just give my opinion, kind of tell you exactly what I've used it for. But yeah, let's actually put this thing to work here on camera. All right, here's some sheet metal screws here. I had to go with some uh, nice and small ones because the opening to this vacuum is not exactly really large. <laughs> Let's go ahead and run it with a few uh, bigger screws.
There are some floaties in there. I uh, think this used to be a chicken feed bucket, but that's all right. Of course I tried to get, you know, just every bit of uh, water out of there that I could, but it did suck that water down pretty quick. I was actually a little bit impressed. Okay, well let's get to opinions. So I'll start off by saying that I wish I had more experience with other cordless wet dry backs. Pretty much all my experience comes from rigid corded shop backs. I really wish that I could have some experience with, you know, like a Ryobi, a Cobalt, and a Milwaukee vacuum, just to kind of get an idea of how those other back cordless wet dry backs perform. So with all that being said, not having a whole lot of experience with other vacuums, I'm going to say that I think that bottom line is it's pretty good. Now I'm just going to make sure that I say this. If you're buying this thing thinking it's going to perform at the same level as your plug into the wall, 110, uh, 120 volt shop vacs, you're kidding yourself. The hose is much smaller in diameter and I think that's by design. I think that they needed a smaller hose to get still a decent amount of suction power out of this thing. Just make sure that your expectations for this vacuum are not that it's going to pull a whole lot of air through that little hose and have a ton of vacuuming power because it just simply doesn't. With a lot of cordless tools, you give up a lot of performance for convenience. And that is definitely the case with this wet dry vac. Convenience wise, it is a great package, phenomenal package. The way they put this little thing together with the little attachments that are very much out of the way, like just to compare it, you know, to my corded rigid vacuum, the attachments, the way they, where they give me places to attach that thing on the vacuums are horrible. Every time I pull that vacuum out there, those attachments are falling all over the place. This is an extremely well put together package. Uh, everything's in nice, tight, compact, and none of the attachments fall out. I don't get the sense that I'm going to lose anything carrying this thing around. It is fairly lightweight and uh, it is just absolutely convenient. Of all the times that I've needed a wet dry vac, I do have to say that despite the drop in performance that this thing has over, like I said, a corded vacuum, as you'd probably expect, it is so convenient that I still go for it all the time. I never think I'm going to go get that rigid vacuum. You know, there might be instances where I go for the rigid vacuum, but over the last three months of the, you know, two dozen times I've gone for the, and used this vacuum, it's been the go-to vacuum because it's so convenient. The cords on a corded vacuum are such a hassle and this thing does a pretty good job. So I'm probably just making the case for cordless vacuums in general here. But you know, I, I just gotta say, bottom line, I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the Bauer wet dry vac. I think it does a good job. Definitely something I'm happy with. It was something I was definitely looking forward to coming out in stores from Harbor Freight for really ever since I got into the Bauer cordless tool line. So it's definitely good. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Hopefully you'll give this video a thumbs up yourself if you liked it. It, it definitely helps out the channel and it doesn't cost you nothing. It helps out big time if you hit that thumbs up button. Also, it helps out the channel is hitting the subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. You can get more content like this. I assume if you're watching Bauer Cordless Vacuum reviews, then you're probably wanting to see other Bauer Cordless Tour reviews and I do plenty of those on this channel. Thanks everyone again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.